Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to use the Polygon Cut Faces tool. I'm going to click on the object that I want to cut, go to my Edit Mesh menu at the top, and click on the Cut Faces tool. I can now click and drag across my screen to create a cutting plane, and when I let go, it slices all the way through my object. Now let's check out some other options. I'm going to go back up to my Edit Mesh menu and I'm going to click on the box next to Cut Faces tool. It opens up some options and the default setting is the Interactive Click for Cut Line. And that's what we just did. We can also create a cutting plane that lies directly along the Y axis and the Z axis, the Z X axis, and the X Y axis. So let's put it on the X Y axis. I'm going to select the object that I want to cut and I'm going to click on Apply. It creates a cutting plane along the XY axis and I can drag this blue arrow to move the cut and you can see that it's staying along the axis that we chose. Okay, there's also another feature called delete cut faces and what that will do, that will delete part of our geometry. So let's go back up to interactive. I'm going to enter the tool and I'm going to drag across my screen like we did on the first sphere. And this time you'll see a dotted line perpendicular to the cutting plane. That indicates what direction our geometry is going to be deleted. So when I let go, it deletes that top left part of our sphere. If you want to delete the other side, we would have to drag it the opposite direction. So if I select my object, enter the cut tool, and click the opposite direction, now, as you can see, it's going to delete the right side of our sphere. There's also another option called the Extract Cut Faces tool. And what that's going to do is when we make our cut, it's going to separate our sphere into two pieces, but it's not going to delete anything, just like the first one. But it can also offset it. And this is your X, Y, so if you wanted to offset it in the X axis, right now it's offset for 0 0.5, 0 0.5, in the Y and 0.5 in the Z. So let's enter the tool, select our object, and I'm going to try across it. And you can see it separated into two pieces. Now they would stay together, but they didn't stay together because we've got this offset in there of 0.5. You can change it, so play around with it, see what it does. And if you wanted to separate those two so they're not actually one piece of geometry, let me get out of here to show you. Right now, if I click on it, it's one piece of geometry. But you can go up to your mesh menu and click on separate, and it will separate them into their two pieces. And that concludes the Polygon Cut Faces tutorial.